It's tough being a minor party outside of Parliament in New Zealand. Last election, the Opportunities Party won almost 2.5% of the vote, but without an electorate seat, that was only half of what they needed to make it into Parliament. Gareth Morgan is no longer leading or financing the party, but Leader Jeff Simmons is with us this morning. Kia ora, welcome to Q&A. Kia ora, Jack. What are you offering this election that should make voters listen? We are offering more time spent on business and less business time. Uh, we, you know, we seem to be in the in the biggest uh, biggest election of a lifetime, as your panel is saying. We're making some lifetime long investment decisions that are going to affect the country, and we are focused on really making a really making a difference to the country going forward in terms of particularly the cost of housing uh, and making sure that all Kiwis have the chance to prosper in life. Tell us about the UBI. Well, so the idea is 250 bucks a week goes to everyone, and that gets rid of the welfare trap. It honours unpaid uh, unpaid work and makes sure that work pays for people. Uh, also, as a callback to your former point, it would act as a universal student allowance as well. You've criticised the Greens' tax policy. Does that mean you wouldn't introduce any wealth taxes? Well, our policy on tax is that housing should pay the same amount of tax as mm. other forms of investment. What the Greens are talking about with their welfare tax would completely el eliminate any incentive to invest in our country. And we know that this is right at this time we need to invest. Uh, you know, like as as we're saying with things like the climate emergency, we need to invest a billion dollars a year uh, by 2050 to move to a zero carbon economy. So that is going to take businesses investing, the Greens wealth tax would kill that. You are standing in a number of electorates. Where do you think is the Opportunities Party's best shot? Well, we are putting a special focus on the seat of Ohariu in Wellington, uh, where we came third last time, and we have a great candidate there. I'm also standing in Rangatai, which is going to be a really fun contest, because I think Labour have really taken that seat for granted. Is it tough being a small party outside of Parliament? How difficult is it to get traction? Yeah, look, I mean, we don't have a sugar daddy anymore, as you pointed out, uh, but with National and Freefall and Labor really coasting to, to this election, I think if Kiwis want a real contest of ideas, as your panel said, they're going to have to look to the minor parties, and that's a big opportunity for top. You did reasonably well in the last election, 2.4% of the Thanks, party Jack. vote. Uh, but of course, the sugar daddy, as you named him, was at the helm. Do you think upon reflection, having Gareth Morgan in that position damaged top? Well, look, you know, there's two schools of thought there. He certainly got us airtime. Whether that was positive for Top is, is another story. This time round, we are focused on talking about the issues uh, rather than playing personality politics. People, Kiwis see enough personality politics playing out with all of these scandals uh, and all of this vote buying that's going on during this election. When parties do actually talk about the issues, all they do is want to buy votes. It really is sickening. We need some people talking about what's in the longer term interest of New Zealand. Is Gareth Morgan still involved in TOP? No, he has no involvement in the party anymore. We're now a movement. So we TOP in 2019 had more donors than any, all other political parties put mm. together. That really shows the support, the grassroots support that is behind us. Uh, I have to ask this only because uh, when we announced you were going to be on the show today, we had so many people write in and ask, and you can clear it up. Is there a cat-related policy? <laughs> No, we do not have any cat-related policy. I love cats. I also love birds. Uh, you know, we, we don't have any particular stance on that issue. We're focused on the, the big issues like housing, the UBI, and this massive investment that we've got coming mm. out of COVID. It's got to be good for business, and it's got to be good for the environment, particularly reducing our emissions. If you find yourself in a position post-September where you can go into either a support or coalition negotiation with Labor or National, how do you decide who to support and what are your priorities? It's all about getting the best deal for current and future generations of Kiwis, Jack. We're prepared to work with both the major parties, and you've got to be to be able to get decent bargaining power. We saw that. You look at New Zealand First and the Greens this time round. New Zealand First got $3 billion, The Greens got $100 million. That's 30 times the bargaining power. So we've got to be able to work with both. The number one priority we see is the housing crisis. You know, we have 
huge costs of housing and we also have a climate crisis, the answer to that is a fundamental re-engineering of our cities so that Kiwis have an affordable place to live rather than spending all their time speculating on the housing market. And from Top's best case scenario to the worst case scenario, if you don't make it in in September, will you stand again in 2023? Oh, look, we have a fantastic group of young candidates coming through. Top is all about uh, is all about reaching a younger audience and encouraging them to vote, giving them giving current and future generations real hope. Uh, so I think you know we have a, an incredible team coming through: small business people, economists, lawyers, and scientists. And I'm confident that Top is going to be in good shape going forward. What about you, though? Would you have another go? Well, I'm starting to feel a bit old compared to the rest of my party, Jack. You know, we're really focused on that millennial vote. I'm Gen X, so I'm happy right now leading top into the into this election, but there's so much talent coming mm. through. Frankly, I think my job's going to be at risk. All right. Thanks for your time this morning. We appreciate it. That is Jeff Simmons from the Opportunities Party.